What do you call this one? I call him the man on the go. The man, on the go. Right. man on the go. Look at him. He got his horn in his hands, and he looked like he's moving. <laughs> <laughs> I learned the quill back in Arkansas when I was about six years old. Never had a quilting lesson. Never went to school for quilting. So what I learned this comes from my mom. We quilt, we started quilting when I was about six years old. People's always asking me, how do I come up with the colors? But to me, you know, like if I make a drawing, it just, I can just see the color that I would like to put on that. And I don't know what I'm looking for, but I will go out and find the fabric that I can see in my mind that I want on there. Now, this color I don't like. I don't like the yellow color. But it fits him. Right. So, right. so that's why he got it. It fits him, it fits his horn. And so that's why I like it. And this quilting here, this type of quilting, it's not what people do these days. Because this is tabletop quilting. This is what we did when I was a girl. And there's no frame used to quilt these quilts. So it's tabletop, but it's a different look. Isn't it gorgeous, you know? And the way I quilt, you don't have to have a style. You, it's your own style. And so many people don't quilt because they can't get everything perfect, you know? And I've taught classes for the city. And I had so many people come in and say, well, I can't do that because, you know, this is a little bit off, this is a little bit off. And I will tell anybody, I have never, ever made a perfect quilt. But it's my quilt. And I said, whichever way it come out, it's your quilt. This one here uh, is an African queen. I was reading a book about Africa and I run up on uh, it was a picture in here in there looked something like this and it was called the African Queen so I start sketching it and making it larger and larger until I came up with this Ten Commandments was really for my children. Uh -huh. I said that if I make a Ten Commandments, give each one of them a quilt, because I have three kids. Then if they never go to church, I felt, I told them, as long as they keep those Ten Commandments, they'll be okay. Keep it on the bed. When they get up in the morning, they look at those Ten Commandments and try their best not to break one. Because if you break one, you broke them all. I was on vacation in Yuma, and this painting was hanging on a wall. So what I did, I took a pen and I sketched it off. It's not a, exactly like the picture, but I sketched it off and I decided, well, see, could I make a quilt out of it? And I just went home and I worked on it, worked on it, and worked on it, until I came up with this. It was just... How long did it take you? This one here, it took me... The biggest thing is sketching it. Once I sketch it out, then it takes me about a couple of weeks to make. The biggest job is sketching it. And look at all that detail again. How do you, how do you find the fabrics and, and so forth to do these things? I go to the store and I pick out some that I like. And mainly all of my colors are solid colors. 
that's mainly what I work with. But I just find colors that I like and I just pick them out. Go for it.